You've probably seen those viral videos all over your feed. Live action Naruto clips that look like they came straight out of Hollywood movie. Real actors, cinematic lighting, insane fight scenes, and you're wondering, how are people actually making these? This is the results you're gonna get, and after this, I'm gonna show you step by step on how to create your own live action anime videos from scratch. So what we're gonna recreate today is the Rock Lee vs. Gara sequence from the original Naruto. And before we start, we actually have to screenshot each of the scenes that we are going to turn into live action. So downloading the video and taking a screenshot one by one is probably the most efficient way to do this. So over here I have a sequence of screenshots, around 30 screenshots of Rock Lee vs. Gara. And for this video we're gonna cast Timothy Chalamet as Rock Lee and Tom Holland as Gara. Because we can. So first, we're just gonna head over to Google Gemini, and we're gonna be using Nano Banana Pro for this. Before we start, we're gonna build the foundation on who is Gara and who is Rock Lee. So we're just gonna drag and drop a picture of Rock Lee and a picture of Tom Holland in Google Gemini. Now, I'm gonna use the Pro, so it uses Nano Banana Pro. I'm gonna type in a prompt like this is Rock Lee, generate a live action shot of the same composition but with Tom Holland as Rock Lee, 16 by 9 cinematic shot like it's on a Ari Alexa. All right, and then we're gonna hit enter. Oh yeah, this looks great. Does it look like Tom Holland though? I'm not sure. It kinda looks like him. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is that we want to cast Timothy Chalamet as Gara. So we're going to take a picture of Gara and a picture of Timothy Chalamet and type in a prompt. This is Gara. So we're going to type in the same thing, except we're going to replace Tom Holland with Timothy Chalamet as Gara. Okay, I think this looks great. This is fantastic. The symbol is right. The hair is good. And I think the environment looks pretty good too. So over here we have established that Tom Holland is Rock Lee and Timothy Chalamet is Gara. So now that we have established that, all we have to do is to put in every single screenshot that we have and generate each of the scene. So before we start feeding all the screenshots into Nano Banana Pro, I want to make sure that Google Gemini understands what I'm going to do. So I want to type in a prompt. I'm going to feed you a lot of screenshots. Make sure that you generate a live action shot replicating the original composition as close as possible. Make sure it's closely referenced to the original image. Generate all future image in cinematic Ari Alexa style and make sure you got the casting right for Gara and Rock Lee. And Google Gemini says that, okay, I'll make a note of that in my memory so that it remembers this prompt. All right, this is fantastic. So we're just gonna drag and drop more images inside and just generate every single image there is. So now that we have generated all of our screenshots, we are going to animate them. So in order to animate them, we're gonna be using Kling AI. So Kling AI is an AI video generator. And for this video, we are going to use Kling 01. So we wanna use the frame function where we can add a start frame and also a end frame for our video. Now we wanna be adding the screenshot over here. For example, let's put in the screenshot of Gara. So we wanna describe how the video is gonna be. For this, is it gonna be something that is very simple. The camera slowly dolly into the character cinematic and then we're gonna hit generate it's gonna take around 40 credits for five seconds so while waiting you can always add in more screenshots so we're gonna do a close-up right now and we're gonna type in something like uh, the camera dolly out slowly and then we're gonna hit generate.
So now I am done animating all of my scenes and now it is time to put it into CapCut. So let's put in all of our footage real quick. So the first scene should be Gara. Okay, this is looking really good. Okay, this is not looking good. So I think the maximum we can go is somewhere over here. All right. Okay, this is good. So now next scene, I would want Rockley to be running towards Gara, And the next scene is Gara be looking very afraid. So you will notice that all the scenes that Kling generates are very slow. So usually I would speed it up to maybe like 70% to maybe 100% so that it looks much more natural. So because Rock Lee is a ninja, so I think I'm gonna use the curve so that it looks, so that I would have much more control over the speed. And over here, it just speeds up. Maybe we start with zero. And then it kind of gradually speeds up. And then for this, I think I want it to be gradually increase the speed like this. Maybe this is too fast. So let's uh, pump it down a bit. So we're gonna come in fast and then put it slow like this. And let's play the video again. And there you have it. That is how you create a live action sequence of the anime that you like. So you can do this uh, to a different anime, maybe One Piece, uh, Jojo Bizarre Adventure, maybe some video games. I would love, p I would love to see someone uh, make a live adaptation of Metal Gear Solid. So go ahead, create your own uh, live action anime or video games that you would want to watch and have fun. So I hope you learned something from the video in terms of Nano Banana Pro or some video generations with Kling AI. Go ahead, have fun, and create your own live action sequence video. My name is Ryan Wei, and I'll see you in the next video.